the type of ad, the type of question I want to ask the market through the scanner so that it shows me names that are exhibiting this condition is for example what you are seeing for CCJ and the, that is the following I want I want to see names where price right the 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 price action is outside of the weekly implied vol band or the the weekly um, expected move band if you, you know however you want to call them there's an upper and there's a lower band on the weeklies and as, as you can tell there's the the weekly ones are shorter than the monthly ones the monthly ones are the green the red and the weekly are the teal or cayenne color for the upper and then the yellow one for the lower uh, anyway and then the there's the line in the middle which is the zero line the middle line if you will um, the, the the start of every cycle has uh, a white line okay so the the condition that i want to scan for is show me all the names that are above or that have broken outside of the weekly expected range but have not yet broken out of their uh, monthly expected range and and um the reason why i want to scan for that condition is because uh, from using this tool so much, right? From using it so often, um, I, I, I built this tool. I want to say maybe in like 2017 um, was that I've been using it for a while. Is all I'm trying to say. So it's um, uh, I, I I I know that when I see this condition, the probability of the market continuing in that direction is a lot higher than it not happening so what i want to scan for are names that, that are exhibiting that so you know just like this the price is outside in this case it, in this case it happens to be to the upside right price broke outside of these weekly bands so in this case my target would be the upper band for the monthly so notice that we're using weekly and monthly so I just happen to have this name charted, but how do I find it? That's that that's always the problem. How do you find, how do you narrow down into a name that is optionable, right? That is good, nice and liquid, that uh, you know, good good options, that doesn't have crazy expensive options with like 200 percent vol that has a relatively you know tradable price of you know not like a three dollar stock but also not like a three hundred dollar stock and here's the other thing um another nice addition is the volvis daily variance for all of you that, that have been using the volvis for for any length of time you will know that there is a section here called the daily variance and the daily variance is this uh, is pretty much distilling what the current implied volatility is telling us uh, about how much it expects this stock to move today, up or down. So the daily variance for, for CCJ today is 3.35%. Um, what, what, what this means is that the options market is priced such that for today, it's pricing a three and a half percent move up or down. Now, will it be to the upside or to the downside? I don't know, but that all I'm saying is that it, since since we've really not moved at all today, however, the market is pricing in a three point uh, three and a half percent move just for today, right? A ninety cent ninety cent move today, and we've moved seven cents. Um, it, it, it just may happen towards the back half of the trading day. But regardless, what's so powerful about this, folks, is that when you combine everything that I've just laid out and you throw it into a scanner, which which what I'm, uh, which is what I'm about to do is is I'm gonna I'm gonna um, show you how we can now scan not only for this condition. Not only can we scan for this condition when 
price is outside of the weekly band, but not yet outside of the monthly, right? Because that's the opportunity, right? That we want to trade. We can include in there um, a condition that says, I don't want to look at any stock that has a daily variance higher than let's say 